Hi, my name's Dr. Justin Coulson. I'm the author of the revised and updated second Australian edition of Dad's Guide to Pregnancy for Dummies. Are you expecting to have a baby soon? Have you already had one, but there's another one on the way. I'm talking about dads here, so you're not technically having the baby. Your wife or partner is gonna have the baby. Maybe it's even your ex, but you're gonna be a dad, is what I mean. Uh, I've got six of my own kids. I'm the founder of happyfamilies.com.au and the host of Australia's number one podcast for parenting and family, the Happy Families podcast. Oh, and if you watch Parental Guidance on Channel 9, I'm the parenting expert and co-host there as well. And I wanted to share three ideas to help you as you get ready for the birth of this brand new kiddo, or maybe the baby's already in your arms. And now you just wanna know, how do I actually be the dad that my little one needs me to be? So the first idea that I wanna share with you is the importance of finding ways to play in developmentally appropriate ways with your little one. You can play at bath time, you can play when it's time for tickles. As they start to eat, you can play like zoom, zoom, here comes the airplane, open up or the train. And you don't just have to do it with food that they don't like, you can actually do it with food that they do like as well. Uh, playing with your kids is a way of bonding. It's helping your children to learn that they're loved and they can be curious and explore the world. It's just so good for them. The second idea is pretty much exactly the opposite of play. It's about being still. See, normally when you look at all of the to-do lists, all the things that a new dad should be doing to bond with Bubba, they're supposed to be bathing and helping with the feeding and the, all that kind of stuff. But every now and again, there's something simply magic about pausing and soaking it all up, staring at your baby's tiny little fingers or their ears. They look so miraculous. Or just looking into their eyes and watching that toothless grin come out on their face savor it, smell that newborn baby smell. I mean, it just takes you away. And those days kind of come and go so fast. The third idea that I want to share with you to really boost the, the experience that you have as a new dad is to find ways to show extra special doses of love to your baby's mum. Now, hopefully, if everything's gone well, you're in a loving and passionate relationship with your baby's mama. Uh, hopefully it's your wife or your partner. But even if you're co-parenting, you've discovered that you're having a baby together but you're not actually together, your baby needs to see you loving mum. It does something enormous for the baby's security, the feelings of safety, the feelings that the world is predictable and makes sense. Be that positive presence, not just in your baby's life, but particularly in that baby's mum's life, in your partner's life, and watch what happens. For more helpful tips about how you can prepare for or enjoy the experience of being a new dad, especially when it comes to guiding your partner through the labor and especially supporting her through that birthing process and a whole bunch more, please pick up a copy of the second Australian edition of Dad's Guide to Pregnancy for Dummies.